election speech in Karnataka, he has abused the OBC community. Now, consequent to that comment, cases were filed in various parts of the India. Even cases has been filed in Arunachal also, because that particular community also stay, uh, live in Arunachal Pradesh. But anyway, after long five years, this was not that the decision has been taken today or it has taken in just one month back. After a prolonged judicial process of last five years, he has been held guilty. The judicial recourse is open to him. He can silence the verdict in High Court or Supreme Court. That's a different thing. But he should have rendered apology immediately after that, that, uh, after that speech. Sometime slip of tongue happen. It is even with us slip of tongues happen. But in next 10 minutes or 15 minutes, we issued a statement that, sorry, that word has gone out of my mouth unintentionally or it was not intended. The matter would have been closed. But Rahul Gandhi has not apologized. Neither withdraw the comments against the community for long five years. So that once again goes to proof that comments were not unintentional. The comments were intentional and it was meant to abuse the OBC community of the country. So he could have withdraw that comment. He could have rendered an apology to the community because it is not an apology to any BJP people. It, that apology could have been rendered to the OBC community immediately after the speech or 24 hours after the speech. But he has not done. He behaved arrogantly. So you have to, the court has to balance the arrogancy of an individual and pride and prestige of the OBC community. So court has to strike the balance. And court has struck the balance in favor of the OBC community vis-a-vis -vis the arrogance of an individual.